is a what's in my bag video and also kind of blended into that is going to be a review of my new bag that I just got from teddyblake.com it's a big leather Teddy Blake bag and I'm really excited about it um, I don't buy new bags very often I usually get like one or two really good quality bags and I'll carry them for the rest of my life but I was actually um, presented with the opportunity to get one of these bags um, I got it for free so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I paid for it um, but it is a really good bag and I'm really excited about it um, this is not a sponsored video it was just sent to me and um, and lots of stuff gets sent to me and if I don't like it I send it back and I never talk about it but I actually really really like this bag so I'm going to share it with you guys today okay so without further ado I'm going to introduce the bag to you guys so here it is my Teddy Blake bag it's so big it's taking up all the space in the camera window it's all black it is pure Italian leathers it's, it's really heavy right now I have a lot of stuff in here um, but it's uh, really good quality Italian leather. It's handcrafted in Italy by some of the best artisans. The inside is all suede. Um, I love the texture on the outside of the bag. And my favorite part about this bag is the smell of it. I love the smell of authentic, um, genuine leather and it smells so good. I love the silver detail on the bag. I like the that it's a handbag, so it's got the five inch straps here. But it also does come with a shoulder strap that you can attach to the bag, and this is what that looks like. I'm gonna try to show you guys a side view. It's so big and durable and sturdy and beautiful. And this is what the bottom looks like. It's got the little feet um, so that it could sit on the floor or the countertop and not scrape the bag, which I love. It's very, very wonderfully made. Um, the one that I got is called the, the Katie Stampato 14 inch. So that's the one that I got. It's in the color black. It comes in multiple colors. I think it comes in like seven or eight or nine different colors. I also liked the taupe one as well. Before we even get started, this bag retails for $479, which is a huge discount from the usual price of $649. So the bag comes to you in this beautiful satiny dust bag that looks like this. So you can keep your bag nice and nice and clean in your closet. I like the color of it too. It's kind of like a champagne gold color. It's really, really pretty. Also, the bag does come with um, a lock and key for the front. So how you have this little toggle here in the front, it comes with a lock and key that you can hang on to so you can actually lock your bag up. So let's go ahead and open this bag up and I'm going to actually show you guys what's in it. So to get into the bag, I'm just going to twist this toggle right here to release the straps so they both come out like that. Then I'm going to lift up on the side here. There's like a little hook. Lift that out. Do the same thing for this side. That's going to release this whole front flap here to just come right on up. And it's really cool because the buckle pieces on the side actually help to cinch the bag. Uh, for example, this buckle piece here, if I pull it, it cinches the bag. So now that my bag is open, I'm going to just give you guys a quick glimpse of the inside. And then I'm going to tell you guys what all I have in here. But as you can see, that's a huge interior. That's huge. It's almost as big as my Louis Vuitton Never Full bag. Um, but it's probably about the size of the MM size. I have the GM, so it's just a little bit bigger. But I think this is about the size of the MM. All of that nice suede in there looking beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The whole interior, the entire interior is suede. So I'm very much so a minimalist. Um, a lot of times people are surprised when I say that. I'm not high maintenance at all. Like I wear makeup and I wear jewelry and I like to be cute and I keep my hair done, but I am not high maintenance at all. I like to keep things to a minimum. So I do not have a lot of stuff in my bag at all. First things first, my wallet. Uh, this is the wallet that I carry in just about all of my bags. I've had this wallet for a couple years now, very, very du durable. It's obviously a Louis Vuitton wallet in the Damier Ebony print. Um, it's just the snap pocket one in the front. I wanted to get the zippy when I first bought this wallet, um, but I think the zippy was like $150 more than this one, and I just could not justify the difference in price, so I just went ahead and went with this one. Next, I just have this random cream of nature, like silky satin scarf. It's the cutest scarf, though. If you don't have one, you should get a satin scarf. If you have curly hair, you need to have a satin scarf. Next, I just have um, this umbrella. This is just like this leopard print umbrella. Um, that I picked up at Walgreens because it is raining right now in Chicago. Next, I have these um, Apple uh, earbud things. I have these just in case I want to like look at Facebook or something while I'm on the train. And if there's like a video that pops up, I want to be able to listen to it without disturbing other people. So I'll pull these out. But other than that, I don't use these earbuds for anything else. Um, when I'm working out, I use my Beats headphones um, because I like to have like that quality, that bass. 
I only use the buds if I'm trying to like be like low key and listen to music or something like on the train. And in Chicago, you don't want to be on the train with beats because you'll get them snatched off your head. Next, I have my car and house keys. Um, I guess the only cute thing to note on these is that I have my little Sigma Gamma Rho key ring. I am a Sigma Gamma Rho. I pledged in spring 2003. I got my ADT burglar alarm thing on here and then I got my car key. Um, for you guys don't know, I drive a Dodge Charger. Sunglasses that I got from Akira. I really, really love these sunglasses. How cute are these? These are so nice. I love my polarized lens uh, sunglasses. I have a couple of these. I buy them every time I see them on sale. I don't care where I am, I will buy them. And I love buying uh, cheap sunglasses because I have owned a couple pairs of really expensive sunglasses. The first pair I had was a pair of like these Christian Dior sunglasses and I ended up breaking them by sitting on them. And then I went again and bought some other really nice sunglasses that were Gucci frames and someone ended up stealing them off my desk at work. Can you believe that? It was after hours, so I think one of the maintenance people stole them. Um, so I don't buy expensive sunglasses anymore. The next pair of sunglasses I'll probably get would probably be like a pair of Ray-Bans. Um, but as far as like designer frames, like you know Gucci, Versace, all that kind of stuff, I probably will never buy any more of those ever again because it is such a waste of money. And Because they're, they're so expensive, they're like three or four hundred dollars. But at the same time, if you lose them or if someone steals them, it's not like you can file an insurance claim because your deductible is probably $500 and so it's not really even worth it. My deductible is $250, but still, I'm not filing a claim on my insurance for a pair of sunglasses. You may as well just buy another pair. And it sucks because I, I, you know, someone stole them and I don't want to just be replacing stuff that people stole, so I just, I just won't buy anymore. Next to my bag, I've got these little crystal light baggies. Um, these are for the lemonade flavor. Sometimes when I'm out, I need to drink some water and I really don't like the taste of water. I'm one of those people who just, it rubs me the wrong way. So I'll just pour a little crystal light in there to rectify the situation. Of course, I've got my cell phone. This is just um, an iPhone 6. And um, my case is just in in Scipio case. It's just a basic black case. I don't have like the little cutesy cases that most girls have. Next I just have like this hair clip. This is actually um, one of those clips that came with the Lisa Ray um, um, flat irons. I just have that in here just in case. You never know. Next in here I've got an iPad mini just in case I need to pull this thing out and get some work done or um, entertain myself or take a picture or something like that. Just whatever. I'll pull out the tablet. You could also fit, I think, like a laptop in here. Now that I'm thinking about electronic devices, because this thing is so large, if you really wanted to carry like a 13 inch um, laptop in here, you probably could. It'll be quite heavy, but you could still get away with it like if you're traveling and you need to get on a plane or something. Also, I have this uh, hand lotion. This is the Nicki Minaj uh, Pink Friday body lotion thing that comes with the um, the perfume. I didn't like the perfume that much. You guys know I'm a huge Nicki Minaj fan. I don't like the perfume that much because it doesn't last all day. It fades away after like two hours. I don't like when um, fragrances do that because it makes me think that they're cheap or whatever. So I just have this hand lotion on which is actually really really good and I've used a lot of it. It's almost gone. For perfume I just have like this little uh, generic kind of um, off-brand perfume. It's called Clean. I think it's by, it's called Fusion Brands America. I don't even know. I had this when I was in New York. Um, but it smells so, so good. And this stuff lasts. Okay, this is a 2.14 fluid ounce. It lasts all freaking day. Like I can put this on in the morning before work. And when I come home from work, I still smell like this. I love this perfume. And then lastly, in the big portion here, I've got just like some Tylenol. Because I had a really bad headache the other day. And I get migraines like once a year and you never know when you're gonna get them but every now and then they creep up and if I don't have something like this on me to work at that migraine I will be like stuck wherever I am so if I'm in the grocery store I'll be in the grocery store until that migraine is over like it debilitates me um, and I get them like once a year and I never know when I'm gonna get them but anyway I have to have something like this so from here on out I've always just carried like painkillers just in case that happens I've got like, this little jar that I've had ever since college um, I just like to have this to jot down little important notes like when something comes up um, I just like to jot it down sometimes I'll stick like little papers in here different things I need to keep up with and take with me everywhere it just depends on what it is it could be a bill that I need to pay it could be a ticket I need to pay whatever it is it just goes in here and it'll just remind me that this is like the priority 
um, organizer and it's like you need to do that because it's in your little journal so I just stick stuff in here randomly as you can see that covers the big main center portion there so now that's all empty and we've got these two side pockets there's one side pocket that has a zip closure and then there's another one that just stays open just kind of like for that easy access stuff so I'll show you guys what's in the easy access one first first thing that's in here I'm looking at is my lip color for today so I when I do lip colors that are like really um, vibrant like today's lip color I bring every item that I created this look with so I started off with this lip liner this is a Mac um, lip liner called night moth and then I go in with my NARS lip pencil this is a mattifying lip pencil in what color is this? This is Cruella. To finish it all off, I use this Black Opal Color Splurge Lip Gloss. This one is in Dynamo. This is one of my favorite lip gloss brands. They sell these at Walmart. It just, it is such a vibrant, opaque lip gloss that almost goes on just like a cream. And it's just awesome. You don't even need any lipstick on first or anything, but I like to put it on top of my lipstick. But geez louise, I mean these are great and I, I talked about these in my last favorites video. Next for that side pocket, I've got a couple other lip items, which I don't know why they're in here, but this is just like my everyday, um, this is a Revlon color. It's a nude um, kind of iridescent lip gloss and it's called, it's, it's called the Revlon Super Lustrous and this, was, this one is called Rosy Future, it's number 260. This is the perfect nude. Uh, lip color for like girls that are like my skin tone and darker. All right, next I've got um, I just carried around with me this um, mascara. This is the Christian Dior Dior Show in Ecstasy. It's just like their blackest black mascara, and I only have it in my bag because sometimes when I'm leaving out for work in the morning, I don't have time to finish my mascara in the mirror. And it takes me so long to apply mascara so I just take it with me and do it in the car and then next I've got this other lipstick that's very similar to that lip gloss I showed you the nude one this is by covergirl um, this is a Walmart pickup and it's in number 255 it's called tempting toffee see that it's like the perfect nude for brown see it's like the perfect brown it's got some rosy tones brown and nude kind of tones it's almost like the color of my skin but just with a little bit more rosy to it so what I usually do is just pair these two together so I'll do the lipstick first and then I'll do the lip gloss on top and it's just like the perfect combination you have that the longevity of the lipstick and then you have the beautiful um, sheen of the gloss so I think these go really nicely together and then together you'll probably pay less than ten dollars for both of them um, next in here speaking of lips I always 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 have to have my chapstick I'm just like my dad we can't go anywhere without our chapstick so this is just a chapstick brand it's for eight hour moisture it's a skin protectant and it has sunscreen SPF 12 um, and it's just like a huge focus on moisturizing so I always have to have my lips moisturized because um it's just like how I am my dad and I both we can't go anywhere without our chapsticks we have to have them just these two mints these lifesaver mints that I found down in there and then I've got these two hair ties because when you're naturally curly just never know it might rain it might get humid you might have to put your hair in a ponytail so I always have hair ties last but not least in that side pocket I've got two packets of salt um, you guys don't know this but I'm a huge salt fan and I'm one of those people who has to have salt in my food and if the food is bland I will not be able to eat it I have to add salt and you guys are thinking oh my god that's not safe watch out for your blood pressure and all that and blood, high blood pressure does run in my family but I've gone to the doctor countless times for physicals and I, I specifically asked for my blood pressure to be looked at because of my love for salt and they have all told me your blood pressure is fine it looks good you're actually like perfect if it ever became a problem I would, I would cut down on salt in a second I have a lot of discipline when it comes to my diet, but until it becomes a problem, I have to have my salt. Yeah, and I think the fact that I work out and I eat well all around the board and other areas, I don't think I'm at risk right now for it, but I always do keep an eye out on it, um, and I always constantly question myself about all the salt. In the other pocket, the zipper one, I just got some, some of the more important things that I don't need to be falling out into the bag. One of them is my adventure card for you Chicagoans, you already know what this is. This is our transit system pass, so basically you put money on this thing and you're able to ride the trains and the buses with it. Um, I ride the train every single day because I don't like to drive uh, into our downtown um, area where all the businesses and, and, and corporations are and stuff. I don't want to drive down there because it's just too hectic, too much traffic and it's expensive. So you, I use the train to get downtown every day. I've got my um, little key card thing this is how I get into my office every day um, I've got 
a business card for my OBGYN. <laughs> it's just two rings in here. Sometimes when I'm out having a good time, I might just start taking my rings off because they're uncomfortable or whatever reason. So these two ended up in my bag. This is one that my husband got for me when we were in Mexico a few years ago. And it's just like a, um, a silver, just like a basic silver ring. It almost looks like a man's wedding band. I love this though. And then this little rustic piece I got um, from probably like a Forever 21 or something like that. So those two just ended up down in there. The only thing I would say I don't like about the bag so much is that it's a little bit high maintenance to get into. I, you know, I carry my never full most of the time and that bag is always open and I just dump stuff in, reach in, grab stuff. I never have to worry about opening the bag. And for this one, I have to then think about opening it each time. But as a workaround though, I would say it doesn't always have to be fully locked and closed. I think you could walk around with the bag kind of just like this. You don't have to really like close it all the way and it'll still look just fine. It's obviously prettier when it's all like um, buckled up and everything, but I think you could still kind of get away with carrying it like this if you know you're gonna be in and out of the bag. Like if you're in the mall or something and you're going to several different stores, I think just having your little toggle piece here in the front just kind of in place like that, you don't have to necessarily have it hooked into the buckles. So that is it for my what's in my bag video and my review of this Teddy Blake bag. You guys have to let me know what you think of this bag and if you are interested in getting one for yourself, no pressure at all, but I will put the link below in case you guys are interested. Um, I just really love good quality bags. It does not have to be an American name brand for me to like it. If it's good quality and it'll stand the test of my uh, brutally handling because I'm really tough on, on bags, that's why I can't buy the cheap stuff anymore. Um, if it can stand the test of time through me dealing and handling with it, then it's a good bag. So I just highly recommend um, you know this bag and if you guys like it, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like it, you can also let me know in the comments below. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought this would be a cute little video to share. And let me know what you guys think and I love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!